Hello and welcome to May's edition of Gardening Advice here at the Old Railway Line Garden Centre. Um, we're going to start now, Keith, by talking a bit on the ornamental garden, the flower garden. Um, May is another busy month, I think. Always a busy month. Can't, can't believe we're, we're in May already. Time has uh, flown, it hasn't it? has, yes. Anyway, we're into um, probably a real gardening month for many people because the, the weather is, uh, is improving. Once we get through this, this slightly cold spell at the beginning of the month, we'll be into... Uh, real uh, late, late spring and early summer. Um, still a good time to plant, um, there's plenty of moisture in the soil, um, so planting all things, uh, trees, as long as they're container grown, uh, shrubs, herbaceous perennials, alpines, uh, roses, climbers, um, they can all go in now. Just got to remember, because they're going in a bit later in the year, they need a bit of help through that first year with extra watering. And um, always better to give them a good water, say once a week, rather than just splashing a little bit on because most of that just evaporates and doesn't get down to the root where it's really needed. I know this, this last month, April now, we've, we've had such a dry April really for the time of year. People have been out with the hoses and watering yeah. cans already, haven't they? Which is a bit unusual really. Yeah, you've got to, got to remember that uh, in dry spells, particularly say the veg garden, you've got to keep the water going if you, if you want you know, good crops. But um, I'm sure we will get some rain through May. We usually, we usually do. We had a little bit last night, didn't we? Um, it, it's also a month where there's lots of growth going on. So um, it, it, it's a time when you've got to tie in uh, climbers, uh, clematis, and roses, um, and also get supports uh, out for those herbaceous perennials that are going to get quite large you know, later in the season. Always better to get those supports in early because um, you, you're fighting with the plant otherwise. Um, you can see them for a, f a few weeks but they'll soon be covered up by the, the new growth uh, and then it, they hold the flowers up better so you, you can enjoy them more. And there is a, a variety of different plant supports you can get all sorts of shapes and sizes. Mm. Um, I think that the, we've got them all listed on our website so yeah. if anyone did want to go and have a look um, they're all up on there um, just to see the range that's mm. actually available. Yeah. Um, another thing now to start thinking about, or a lot of people have started to think about, is um, bedding plants, um, yeah. hanging baskets and pots, etc. Um, it's a time to start sort of preparing those. Yeah, really, isn't you it? see there's plenty of bedding plants are available at the moment, um, and it's a good idea to, to get those baskets started and, and pots started. Um, the, the earlier the plants go in, the, the more root they make, there'll be better plants for later in the year. But you've got to remember also that these are frost tender plants, most of them, um, and, and can't be put out yet. Um, the end of the month in, in, in most districts, perhaps into June in, in very cold areas. Um, so the thing to do really is to let them be out do, during the day, uh, hardening off, but on cold nights either cover them or, or bring them into some kind of shelter, um, otherwise you will lose them. It's surprising you don't actually realise how cold it is. I know driving in today, the, the tips of the mountains, there was actually snow on the top this morning, yeah, yeah. So and, and I know we've had a frost the last couple of nights, so um, being prepared is actually key really when you're, when you're looking at these tender plants yeah, now, isn't that, it? That nice weather in April, I think we, we lulled into a false sense of security. Yeah. You've got to remember, you know, May can still be a, a tricky month, so keep your eye on the weather forecast. That's brilliant. Well, thanks very much, Keith.